Well, welcome to Notre Dame. I know that's a redundant for many of you because you, some of you live here, but um, the best part about Notre Dame is that it's a family. And so while I have some new family members tonight, um, we've always been a family and uh, I'm glad to see everybody. We're so happy, we're thrilled, we're excited, but um, I have such admiration for both of these people. Um, the person that Jeffrey is, the man he's become, the person that Megan is, the woman I've met and got to know a little bit over the last few months. And Megan, if you've been to Danny P's Lake House with me, that's it, we're in, we're family. As much as it's my dad giving Megan away today, there's a part of me that feels like I'm giving her away too. I'm so thankful to God it's you. I couldn't have imagined a better husband for Megan. You're the man made to care for her precious heart. And speaking of Megan, I have to tell you just what a joy you are for us. You're a beacon of gentleness, you're a beacon of warmth, and you just mean so much, so much to us. You know, I always wondered how I'd feel today. Um, well, I feel wonderful. We're so blessed. You're such a treasure to your mom and me. And I'm bl we're blessed by you, and we're blessed by this wonderful, caring man who you now call husband. Jeff, we love you. You're a great man, and we know you'll do great things, and we couldn't be more proud about having you in our family. Our wedding is here. Can you believe that? Sometimes when I slow down recently to think about it, it seems surreal and too good to be true. We have been waiting so long for this beautiful day when you and I will become one in the love and gratuity of God. From one perspective, my wait for you has been roughly 200 or so days from the day of our engagement to this day. But from another vantage point, this day is something I have been waiting for much longer than that. I say thank you to our Lord Jesus for all of his providence, for leading us here to this day. Through all of the twists and curves together, it is beyond reach to try to convey the immense, invaluable, unrepeatable gift that you are, my love. How God's will and your good and my good have brought us to this day where we celebrate the Holy Sacrament of marriage. How God has given us life together how he has shown his face and his graciousness through you. These are ineffable truths of our life that I will promise. I will promise to hold with reverence and awe and gratitude all the days of my life. Three years ago, I had the privilege of also getting married at the Basilica to my wife, Greer, over here at the end of the table. And Jeffrey and my dad were co-best men. And in their best man speech to me, they rewrote the lyrics to a song and sang it. And then they said some very nice, endearing words about me. But I cannot sing, and I will not lie, so my speech will be different. Um, I want to start off a little untraditionally. I worked, I coordinated with your presider, FJ. Um, he got you a little something having to do with the readings you selected and your music. If you could bring that up for Jeffrey to open, that'd be great. He did all the work, I just coordinated. 
Gee, I wonder what it could be. It's a Smirnoff Ice, you'll be drinking that now. Two, one! <laughs>